What is test planning? Test planning is the process of defining, organizing, and prioritizing the activities and resources required to test a software application or system. It involves identifying the scope of testing, developing a test strategy, and creating a detailed test plan that outlines the testing objectives, test cases, and testing schedule. The test planning process typically involves the following activities. Defining the testing objectives. The testing objectives should be aligned with the overall goals of the software development project. This involves identifying what needs to be tested and why it needs to be tested. Identifying the scope of testing. The scope of testing should be clearly defined, including the features and functionality that will be tested, as well as the testing environment and any constraints. Developing a test strategy. The test strategy outlines the overall approach to testing, including the testing techniques, tools, and methodologies that will be used. The test strategy should be aligned with the testing objectives and the scope of testing. Creating a test plan. The test plan outlines the specific activities and tasks that will be performed during testing, including the test cases that will be executed, the testing schedule, and the roles and responsibilities of the testing team. Assigning resources. The testing team should be identified and assigned specific roles and responsibilities, and the required resources, such as hardware and software, should be allocated. Reviewing and refining the test plan. The test plan should be reviewed and refined throughout the software development lifecycle to ensure that it remains relevant and effective. By engaging in test planning, software development teams can ensure that they have a structured approach to testing, that testing is aligned with the overall goals of the project, and that the required resources are allocated effectively to achieve the desired testing objectives. Who will do the test planning? Test planning is a collaborative effort that typically involves several stakeholders, including Test Manager the test manager is responsible for overseeing the testing activities and ensuring that the testing objectives are aligned with the project goals. They typically lead the test planning process and work with other stakeholders to develop a comprehensive test plan. Business analyst. The business analyst is responsible for understanding the requirements and documenting them. They provide input on the testing objectives and scope of testing. Development team. The development team provides input on the technical aspects of testing, such as the testing environment and tools that will be used. Testing team. The testing team is responsible for developing and executing the test cases. They provide input on the testing schedule, test cases, and testing approach. Project manager. The project manager is responsible for managing the project timeline and resources. They ensure that the testing activities are aligned with the project schedule and budget. Customers slash end users. The customers slash end users provide input on the testing objectives and scope of testing based on their needs and expectations. Ultimately, the test planning process should be a collaborative effort that involves all stakeholders who have an interest in the quality and success of the software application or system. By involving all relevant parties, the test plan can be developed with a comprehensive understanding of the project goals and requirements, ensuring that the testing objectives are aligned with the overall project goals. In the software development life cycle, when will we do the test planning? Test planning is an essential activity in the software development life cycle, SDLC, and should be done as part of the project planning phase which typically occurs in the early stages of the SDLC. During the project planning phase, the project team defines the overall project scope, objectives, requirements, and constraints. This information is used to develop the project plan, which includes the testing plan. The testing plan outlines the scope, objectives, and approach to testing the software application or system. The testing plan should be developed in collaboration with all relevant stakeholders, 
including the business analysts, developers, testing team, and project manager. The testing plan should be reviewed and refined throughout the SDLC to ensure that it remains relevant and effective. Once the testing plan has been developed, the testing team can start to develop the test cases and execute them during the testing phase. The testing phase typically occurs after the development phase and before the deployment phase, although some projects may use a continuous testing approach, where testing is done throughout the SDLC. Overall, test planning is an integral part of the SDLC, and it is essential to do it in the early stages of the project to ensure that the testing objectives are aligned with the overall project goals, and the testing approach is well-defined and structured. In Agile Scrum, when will we do testing planning? In Agile Scrum, the testing planning is typically done as part of the sprint planning meeting, which is held at the beginning of each sprint. The sprint planning meeting is attended by the entire Scrum team, including the product owner, the development team, and the Scrum master. During the sprint planning meeting, the team reviews the user stories in the product backlog and selects the ones that will be worked on during the upcoming sprint. The team then collaborates to define the acceptance criteria for each user story, which outlines the specific conditions that must be met for the story to be considered complete. The acceptance criteria also serves as the basis for developing the test cases that will be used to verify that the user story has been implemented correctly. The development team and the testing team work together to develop the test cases, which are then included in the sprint backlog. As the sprint progresses, the development team develops and tests the user stories using the test cases as a guide. The testing team provides feedback to the development team on the results of the testing, identifying defects and suggesting improvements. In summary, the testing planning in Agile Scrum is an ongoing process that is integrated into the sprint planning and execution phases. The entire Scrum team collaborates to define the acceptance criteria and develop the test cases, which are used to verify that the user stories have been implemented correctly. If there is a large QA team, how can the test manager join all the sprint planning meetings to discuss testing planning for each Scrum team? If there is a large QA team and the test manager needs to join all the sprint planning meetings to discuss the testing planning for each Scrum team, it may not be feasible or practical for the test manager to attend every meeting. In this case, the test manager can delegate some of the responsibilities to other members of the QA team. One option is to assign a QA lead to each Scrum team who will be responsible for attending the sprint planning meetings and collaborating with the development team to define the acceptance criteria and develop the test cases. The QA lead can then provide feedback to the test manager on the testing plan and ensure that it aligns with the overall testing strategy. Another option is to hold a separate meeting with the QA team after each sprint planning meeting to review the testing plan for each Scrum team. The test manager can attend this meeting along with the QA leads and other members of the QA team to discuss the testing plan, identify any issues or concerns, and make any necessary adjustments. Regardless of the approach taken, it is essential for the test manager to communicate the overall testing strategy to the QA team and ensure that everyone understands their roles and responsibilities. This will help to ensure that the testing plan is well-coordinated and aligned with the overall project goals.